Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Rockport, Texas. I'm at the end of Rockport Beach. It has been a frustrating day. I've shot about 40 minutes of video and all of it is unusable. It is very windy out. Uh, I think I've given up on uh, filming for the day from outside of this truck. So uh, we're going to see what we can, why we can. I want to tell you all about the trip coming up. Hey, Drew, do me a favor, birthday boy. Oh, my intro. <laughs> There's a boat going by, off to better things. I haven't been out in the boat in a while, and I would like to. I've got a mechanic uh, looking over my vehicle early next week. Checking out my AC, seeing if I need a tune-up. Just giving it a little uh, pre-trip uh, inspection. So, uh, we got that taken care of. And later, uh, as soon as I'm done filming this video, got to work on uh, my windshield. Just wanted to keep you guys up to date. He's enjoying the day. There's a young lady fishing to the right. So I'm sure he's hoping for a little handout. And who can blame him? Definitely uh, Eugene's competition. You know guys, twice now I have bought some shrimp and come looking for Eugene. And he wasn't there, so I gave him away. And then when I don't have shrimp, uh, I've found Eugene. I'm going to keep trying, though. Also did uh, laundry this morning in preparation for the trip. And I will probably go there once more before uh, I leave just to make sure I have all clean clothes for the trip. I'm thinking uh, middle of next week, about a week from today, uh, get on the road. And uh, stop talking about it and doing it. Unfortunately, some things came up and the fun never ends, right? Fourth of July this weekend, so I'll uh, get us some fireworks and uh, hit some of the beaches. And there better not be any of those darn uh, bikini girls there. It is pretty funny because when I was at IHOP, I noticed uh, I saw uh, a waitress and she only had one leg. And then the other waitress only had one leg and God bless them they're working hard you know to do that job as a server with just one leg and then uh, they introduced themselves their names were uh, Peg and uh, Eileen that's a horrible insensitive joke and I can't wait to go tell it to other people what are these plants called guys were those flowers the the brown-eyed Susans I remember looking up at them before. Public notice, water birds nesting area, please do not enter or disturb. I did see some baby seagulls the other day and even some baby, um, yeah, black skimmers. Really cool. Yeah, it was uh, raining pretty good this morning when I, uh, while I was at the laundromat. And there's been times when the sun has come out. When I drove to uh, Portland this morning, after the laundromat ran into some rain. And uh, today I listened to uh, Ram by Paul McCartney. Uh, the best of Eric Clapton. And uh, someone keeps suggesting uh, John Prine. And I'm real familiar with John Prine. Uh, I haven't loaded any yet, but uh, my favorite John Prine song might be Hello In There, which I thought was excellent. And uh, I always got to kick uh, the live version of uh, Dear Abby. Kids out on the Wave Runners having a blast. That's what summer's all about. We used to go to the beach to go swimming, bring a towel. 
that was like a big day. Now everyone's got to have wave runners and uh, golf carts and uh, your own. Man, I never thought about bringing portable shade to a beach. We wore uh, suntan lotion and got sun poisoning the way the good Lord intended it to be. <laughs> so I used my uh, same gift card from IHOP and I got a burger and fries today. So that's going to be my food for the day. Got it to go so I would have uh, not have to wait as long. And uh, yeah, just to be out of IHOP. It's a good looking burger though. Well guys, let's give them a plug. July 4th weekend. Live music. Food and beer. I like those things. Kids free. Nah, I don't want no free kid. Art market. Meh. Air conditioned tent. Okay, now we're talking. RockportArtFest.com. Look that up if that interests you guys, but uh, maybe we'll take a little tour here. So they got the fairgrounds here at Rockport Beach all set up. I would imagine that's all vendors' tents to the left, and it goes around the whole perimeter. Air conditioned tent. Yeah, they got a big tent over there with uh, the flaps down. That's pretty neat. Man, how much does it cost just to set a fence up, to rent a fence like this, you know? That's pretty neat. They got the two entrances are where the um, Texas flag tents are. That's it. It's pretty big. You got a big uh, open area. Now, this concrete stage here is where they usually have bands. So, uh, I guess they're going to have them in the tent, maybe. That's not even in the fenced area this time around, which is interesting. Yeah, look at those big old AC units over there. That's pretty neat. We're fancy. We got a air-conditioned tent. And then uh, some more vendor tents over there, canopies. That is really huge. And I've gone to those before. It was mostly local art. It's been a few years. A lot of paintings of uh, Rosetta Spoonbills. <laughs> and this is going to be uh, one of the entrance gates. Pretty neat. I got a package in the mail from uh, Amazon. And uh, it's funny. I opened it up, guys. I mentioned that this might be worth a try in another video. And I don't even need to look at the uh, the note with the gift. I already know this is from Judy. Thank you very much, Judy. I, I appreciate that. Uh, you're you're just uh, awesome. Thank you, Judy, and uh, thanks for all your kind words and for checking out the videos and for just uh, consistently being awesome. I'm very excited about this, guys. They're working on uh, the depot. That guy on the left, up in the air, he just threw something heavy down, and uh, he didn't know that guy in the white t-shirt was down there, and it just missed his head. So, uh, while I like filming stuff, I don't want to film that. But uh, this is the old uh, railroad depot, and those, those guys there give you a little perspective about how big it is. So, hopefully, uh, they're redoing that and uh, making it pretty again. And uh, hopefully no one gets their uh, head bashed in, which is always a bonus when it comes to uh, construction. They're either working on that uh, depot or they're working on Rusty's cabin. I can't quite tell. This might be a little bit too big to be a uh, Rusty 78609's cabin. And it is hot. Bless these guys. And I don't have any shrimp and look who's waiting for me. When it's hot, they uh, keep their beaks open uh, to help cool them. I read that online, so it must be true. <laughs> Get in the shade, Eugene. Guys, I am ready for a road trip. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going somewhere. Um, my longer road trip will be next week, but I'm going to take a day trip, maybe an overnight trip. Uh... 
got a few little towns in mind and uh, that I want to go see. Also, uh, I need to go across the causeway here. Uh, someone asked me about the Sea Gun Hotel and uh, if it was still there or not. So I'm going to uh, upcoming uh, post a little uh, videos about that area. We were over there before, but um, specifically about uh, the hotel itself, whether it's still there, if it's not there, what happened to it, a little bit of the history about it. So I appreciate you guys for riding along today. Um, I can't wait to go on this trip. I'm looking for, uh, forward to this road trip tomorrow that I will be uh, sharing with you tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching, everyone.